So we're going to go ahead and get started. So we'll start with our pledge. And Kevin, if you'll do the prayer, I appreciate it. Pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you for all the many blessings you have given us. We thank you for this city we have. We ask tonight that you guide us in our endeavors to make this even better city. Watch over us. Help us make the right decisions. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hey, welcome everybody out tonight. Cold, dreary. I'm ready for summer. Uh, I'm not ready for summer, but I, Christmas has been I'm here and gone. I'm ready for, for summer. Ready for <laughs> or stay warm. But this up in yeah, Dean's stuff. That's what I say. I don't, if it stay stay cold, it stays cold, it's fine. Just stay yeah. cold, get it over with, then go to summer. I yeah. vote for the warm. So. I'm tired of the up and down. Okay, first item is the approval of minutes. Make the motion we approve the minutes. Second. <coughs> we have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Uh, next is the bills. Make the motion to pay the bills. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. I'd like to, if y'all don't mind, the next item is the Aqualine contract. Is discuss that in closed session. Can we do that, AV, since it is about a contract? To discuss that in closed session here a little bit, if y'all if y'all are okay with that. Uh -huh. Okay, so next item under new business is to approve the Kentucky Highway Safety Mini Grant. This will be um, a grant to run from May to September. We're asking for $2,500, which will allow police to have overtime we get these about every year, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Wait for the land. There's not Make the motion mm -hmm. that we um, apply for this grant. Second. Can we have a motion and second? Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Next is approve the Kentucky Highway Safety Fiscal Year 2020 grant. This will be the same focus. Make a motion we accept that grant. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, next is approved polling uh, election location change. Bess, I've talked to Bess a time or two. You know, they do it at the fire station now. They'd like to do it over here. Oh. Uh, I know last, well, it, it would make it easier on the fire department because they have to do a, move stuff around and get ready for it. Last Summer, May, in the primary, it was miserably hot over there. Yeah. And in here, you can leave. some of the people kept telling me we're too old for this. I told Charlotte McDaniel, you're not old, just go on <laughs> with it. But over here, you do have heating, cooling, Correct. kitchen area. you got restrooms that are a little closer, and we are handicap accessible. And they just request, asked if it would be okay to move over here. And I just felt like this would be something we'd go ahead and approve. Okay. So it would be in the no, minutes. I don't, to, have, I don't well, think there would be a problem. And they do pay some little bit in rent, so... I make a motion that we allow the voting to move into the commissioner. Second. Okay, we got a motion and a second. And just for the record, they used to be in the commission room. Yeah. I'm not sure. Did they move out because of all of the uh, locations are here now? I think they actually requested when we had the fire station built because we needed a long handicap ramp, and so that's, that's when they moved. Well, I know now all of the poles are here now. Right. There's not one at the school right. anymore. So. Yeah, it's all here. It makes it a little easier, too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. John? I'll let you go. Yeah, you can stay back there. Okay. So, I will take just a minute of time. I want to come down and thank the city council, city of Big Ben, for Big Ben Community Farmers Market. I want to say thank you for all the support we've had in the past. Uh, just give you a little report from last year. Last year was our second biggest year we ever had. We had we we're on track to have our uh, our biggest year. Uh, but we had some bad weather days in September and October. I think we had about almost 
three rain out days, which also hurt production. But uh, rough count, we had we were about 40, <coughs> over 4,900 customers. And that's not 4,900 particular ones, 4,900 customers over the time we were open and uh, the year. And uh, we just want to tell you that we really do appreciate your support and everything that the city has helped with the farmers market there. We try to be as little trouble as possible. Uh, and it's also grant uh, funding time for the farmers market across the state of Kentucky. And uh, I've given the, the mayor uh, the three grants that we'd like to apply for. I don't know that we'll apply for the third one on there. But uh, they're from the Community Farm Alliance, which they received their money uh, from the Kentucky Department of Agriculture through the Phase Two tobacco money. Uh, it's a double dollars grant, um, then a, a market coordinator matching grant, and then the Kentucky Department of Ag advertising grant. And the reason I'm asking about that, uh, the, the uh, council's approval, the city's approval on that, our city has the part uh, is responsible for that. And Amy, I work very close with Amy. I'll, I'll write the grants and Amy takes care of everything when it comes in. So I just want to say thank you. I won't take any more time because I know you're busy. Quick question, just for everybody information. The first one, the Community Farm Alliance Double Dollars, uh -huh. it's a 25% match. Do you know about how much you need that for the match? And the other one's 2000 right? Uh -huh. Now, what's the last one? The third one is the Kentucky Farm Bank Advertising Grant. It's really according to how much advertising money we get. It can go up to twelve fifty, which is be $600, $600 matching. Um, we've never, we haven't used it for a couple, two, three years. They had some problems at KDE. They didn't have anybody to oversee that. They turned it over to the Horticulture Council here a couple of years ago. I called that fellow. He said, I know I'm supposed to have that, but I'm not doing it. So I don't know what that meant. Uh, so we didn't apply for the last couple of years, but I think they've got that straightened out through KDA, but uh, probably 600. But we've never used that much before uh, on that. But uh, um, but if I wanted to add it in case we decided to uh, file for that. So about, you're looking about $3,000 for the whole thing. For the whole thing. And then to imagine what we do is our, our um, dues and market fees and everything that come into the market run through the city. And we try to cover uh, the vast majority of that with those fees and dues that we bring in from the market from our vendors for their yearly fees. But we just need to be prepared to know. Yes. If we approve this, it's up to three thousand, depending on what they. That would, that would if he needs, he needs it approved tonight, so they can get him get it in. We're usually we're way or usually last year. I think we were way late getting it in. And yes, and uh, they kind of up the day once this time. Uh, I think January twentieth, and so uh, everything's on the line. Which I can do it a little bit quicker this year because I've saved the copies from last year, so I know exactly what they want. It was a process <laughs> last year. It was probably. A Three or four, or five days, well, night process to get everything in they wanted. But uh, I want to tell you, I'll thank you anyway. Thank you for the support. Um, it's uh, good for the community. We really, the vendors and everybody at the market really appreciates that. So. It's we usually appreciate the quite lively down there on Saturday morning. I, I would have thought there'd been more than 4,900 customers. Honestly, I would have thought that would have been a lot higher. I figured y'all had way more than 4,900 last year. I, but oh, then, that, was a rough, that was a rough count. Yeah. I was yeah. there a couple days and it was good grief packed. Yes, and that was a rough uh, that was a rough count that we had. I mean, we based a lot of that on on our sales data too. So, so we make, need to make a motion mm -hmm. that we uh, do any grant matching funds for the farmers market for these three, if, for those or three. whatever ones you want to do. Yes, yeah. those three grants that have been presented to us. Second. Could we have a motion to second? Any further discussion? Motion in favor. Signify that. Uh, Post same. I think it's such a great asset to our community and even the county. And there are folks from other counties that come too. Yep. So. Yes, and I didn't even cover that. We did keep up with that. Uh, we had folks from probably, I think it was 31 different counties in the state of Kentucky that we knew they were there to tell us. And uh, I think the last county we had was uh, 10 states. Now, those folks didn't come to the market. They were on vacation or they were visiting family. Uh, and they were, you know, but they were the there, yeah. Regardless, and we have a couple of, reg couple of regular visitors that come down uh, probably twice a month from Lexington. Wow, uh, two ladies. That's uh, they like the go milk soap and the, and the beef. But they come.
If you ever do a midday market, I'm not a very early morning person. <laughs> Mid <laughs> midday is really good for me. <laughs> but like I, it goes till noon. When I do make it out, you're done before it gets hot. When I do make it out there, I really enjoy it. Okay, Mike, do you have anything? Uh, the only thing I have is next month I will have the statistics for uh, 2018 uh, for y'all, like we do every year. So I've been working on those for the past week or so. Uh, and with Mary's help of making, all, making them all pretty, we'll have them for y'all next month. So, and that's about all I have. Everything's going well with us. Everything's going right along. And uh, again, we do appreciate you alls support that y'all do us. We really appreciate that. So all I've got, if y'all got some questions, I'll do a fine job. I don't have a problem. Here. <laughs> Got a good group. Yeah, we do. We're lucky. We are lucky. Chris? Yeah. Uh, we got some uh, portable radios that we need to look at upgrading. We got some that just don't work at all. They're 160 a piece. And uh, we just want to try to get at least 10. That way we'd have two spares. What would, would that come out of? There should be something. money in the fire. I was yeah. going to say, would there not be something that would cover that? Yeah, if you talk to Charles. I was going to tonight. He's supposed to be here, yeah. so if you can hang around, you might can. Okay. Because I think if it's in the budget, we don't have to have. Yeah. We just have to have approval to pay the bill, right? Okay. Yeah. That's okay. what I think. I think we had something to cover something like that. Mayor Dustin, do you have? No, I'm I don't want to exclude you. know that at least one visitor from England was here at the farmer's market. Yeah. That's she came down with Sam Ford. And yeah. Hung out with us for the day of the weekend, I guess you'd say. So. But other than that, I don't have anything. Sandy? Don't have anything. The only thing I'm going to say is we had a, at the last part of the meeting last last month, we had a little, it wasn't a controversy, it was just a question. And uh, we talked about getting together with the Tourism Commission, and the uh, commissioners and the Tourism Commission got together. Solved everything. It, it, at least I, I feel like we solved everything. Went along very well, and it just goes to show that you can work together and, it, and get to a common goal. And I'm very pleased with not only the commission, but I'm also pleased with the tourism commission because it was a very smooth, very easy going session. I was very pleased, uh, and and I think everybody came to an agreement. Everything's going to be taken care of, and. I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud for both groups, not just our group, for their group too. It was just a good situation. I was really impressed. That's all I got. Okay. Uh, just one quick thing on my part. Uh, Kevin Sandy, I know Jim already knows about it because he's going. KLC is having that conference in Owensboro. Did you find how much it would cost? $200? Yeah. I think Somewhere. Two what day is it? It's a Wednesday, Thursday, and half day on Friday. Are you going both? You're just going one day. I'm going part of it, man. Yeah. That's probably what I do. Because I got to work one of the days. I know. <coughs> if if y'all want to go, just you let Mary know. So now I know it's kind of <laughs> hard on your schedule. Yeah. Just let Mary know. Okay. You, you, you know what day they're on? Twenty. Twenty third through the twenty fifth. Okay. Mm. I'd give anything a spring break, when fall break, break whatever we get back with the KLC. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're trying to stay away from the because a lot of them complain about. Yeah, and worked, that was a good time for me. <laughs> worked over a lot. So. Yeah. yeah, KLC's been impressive the last couple of years. It really has. <laughs> Larry, you have anything? I do. I have two things. One, we'll talk about after closed session. I left my paperwork in my office. <laughs> I couldn't get paid anyway. Uh, the other is uh, we've been talking with uh, the Wycombe High School about maybe getting a motivational speaker for the alcohol side uh, and talking to Chris Lowe and Robbie Asbury today and uh, I think we're going to maybe try to participate in their ghost out day next year but also would like to ask the commission for permission to hire a speaker to talk to the high school kids uh, about the cons of alcohol usage. Is there someone that's recommended? Uh, Critchlow was looking, and Mary actually found one, I guess, last week in, in Lexington. Uh, he has $750 uh, to speak and then 50 cents a mile to drive. Uh, Critchlow is going to look himself it's too. Part of the fun, see that. But I, I'm not, you know, I'm thinking with, with us getting the alcohol just... tax, we need to try to show forth that we're, we're trying to reach the youth in the, in the community to deter them. Do you care to send me that info? I'm just curious to know his background. And... 
all of that. <laughs> I'll look it up. Since my background, is, you know, you have to be his, I think careful. His back. You have to be careful sometimes. He works. Um, I guess he's a recovering addict himself, and he actually works in a rehab center. So he has to have some kind of notice to work around his working schedule as well. I'll look him up. I think Rich Love told me today that they normally spend somewhere around nine hundred to a thousand dollars on the ghost out, and it's once every four years. And I told him that I think that we would love to participate in it as well. So that will probably be a budgetary item for next year <coughs> if the commission is in agreement. Okay. And you s do you need to put on this tonight now or? To do it, not necessarily the person, but to do it. Correct. I think we go ahead and. Correct. Are you all okay with? Motion. We go ahead and find the speaker for the. The what would you say, the alcohol talk or something for the high school? Yeah. I, guess I, don't, know. I don't know really what to call it. Now, maybe you, you think of a good way to. <laughs> motivation speaker. There we go. The motivation speaker for the high school. Intervention and prevention abuse. Yeah. I'm, motion. I'm seeing some stuff about him with some of the people that I used to work with. So, Chris Lowe said they had someone they always used from Louisiana, but he, I think he passed away, he said. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so you made a motion. Are you seconding that motion? Yeah. We have a motion and second. Is there any further discussion? Okay, those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Entertain a motion to go into closed session, please. Motion goes into closed session. In a second. And off we go. Sorry, we kept you off. Make a motion to go in. Oh, that didn't open session. Second. Did you ever hear from Charles, Mary? No. I didn't know if he came in that way. Ooh, it's cold in here. Okay, uh, motion is set to go back in, all right? Back into open session, we did have closed session and discuss some items with contractual stuff, but to my knowledge, there is nothing to do tonight. We'll be dealing with some stuff in February next, meeting. Next month, yeah. So, make a motion we adjourn. Don't leave. Have a motion to second. Thank you all very much. Sorry we made you wait for nothing, guys, but we didn't come to a conclusion on it.